So today I will be making you acquainted with how to set up a virtual machine in a Windows operating system. For that, we will be using a software called VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a software that installs an operating system as an application. It allows an additional operating system to be installed on it as a guest operating system and run it in a virtual machine. To install VirtualBox, there is a link provided just below this video. Double click on it to install it. So, yeah. so click on save file. It's a 118 MB file. Yeah, as I already have this file, I'll not be downloading it. So now double click on the application. Click on run. Click on next. Click on next. Again click on next. Click on yes. And finally click on install. Yeah, now virtual box is installed in your desktop. Click on finish. Now double click on the virtual box application to check whether it is working properly or not. Like this. So yeah, now we can close this application for the time being. Now all we require is an ISO file of the operating system that we want to install in a virtual box. We can install almost any operating system of our choice. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu 16.04 in the virtual box. So you can find the link of Ubuntu 16.04 in the description section. Double click on the link to download it. Now click on OK. It's a 1.4 GB file. Again, as I already have this file, I'll not be downloading it. Yeah, now just open your virtual box application. Uh, click on New to set up a new virtual environment. Here you can set the name of the virtual environment according to your choice. So input whatever name you want. Uh, in type type is represent the type of OS that you are putting in your virtual box. So it's like Linux, SolarOS, PSD, IBM, Mac OS are the options that are available. So I'm clicking on Linux and this is the architecture. So it's a 64-bit Ubuntu architecture. So I'll be choosing that. Uh, now click on next yeah in this section uh, we can allocate the amount of ram that we want to give to the virtual box so the recommended size is 1024 mb for a lag free experience so i'll be setting it to 2 gb that's 2048 mb uh, now click on next yeah now click on create uh, again click on next Ah, yeah, here select the fixed sized option and then click on next. Uh, in this section, we can allocate the amount of external memory that we want to give for our virtual machine. The recommended size is 8 GB. Uh, I'll be setting it to 20 GB. I think. Uh, yeah, that would be enough. Now click on create. Uh, this might take a few minutes time. So 
this will create a virtual box environment but we still need but we still need to install an operating system in it so after this i'll be showing you how to configure an operating system in a virtual environment Yeah. Now, now select the for your virtual environment and then click on settings. So in settings, go to storage and in storage under the controller ID, click on empty. Yeah, in the optical drive option, select the CD icon and press on this icon. Now choose the virtual optical disk file. Yeah, from here you can browse, browse the operating, your operating system, the ISO file of your operating system. Uh, now click on open. Yeah, and finally now click on OK. So, now double click on your virtual environment to configure your operating system. Yeah, as you can see that it's loading. Yeah, now you can select the language that you want and then click on install Ubuntu. Yeah, now press the option which says that download updates while installing Ubuntu and then click on continue. Yeah, now press the option erase this then install Ubuntu and now finally click on install now. Yeah, click on continue. Yeah, from here you can select your time zone. So after selecting that, uh, click on continue. Now finally you can select the keyboard layout that you want to choose. So I'll be choosing English US and after that click on continue again. Yeah, so who are you? So here you can give a name for your PC, for your operating system. 
so yeah so type whatever name you want and then you can also pick a username for yourself uh, after that you can choose a password that you want to give and then there is an option that whether you want to log in automatically or you want to enter password every time you want to log in so I don't want to enter my password so I can I'm pressing login automatically and then click on continue and yeah now the virtual environment is loading Yeah, so now the OS has been installed in your virtual environment. So click on the restart button. So as soon as this restarts, the virtual environment will be ready to use. Yeah. yeah, so we can finally see that the operating system has been loaded in the virtual box. So now we can use Linux. So yeah, so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like and click on the subscribe button.